Hello everyone and welcome to Lena Mystic. Make sure you go ahead and you like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. My purpose is to help you to decode spiritual signs and synchronicities so that you can get on your authentic path of purpose. That was bad. <laughs> My purpose is to help you all decode spiritual signs and synchronicities so that you can get on your path to purpose. Today's video is about the beautiful ladybug. Why you've been seeing ladybugs, why you've been hearing about ladybugs, why ladybugs are literally stalking you. This video can help you to understand ladybugs' spirit totem. Now, in every single animal that we see that keeps stalking us, keeps showing up in our lives, has some type of purpose, some type of message. When you see these animals, it is your angels, your guides, the divine connecting to you and saying, here, you need this message and I hope that it brings you peace and comfort in knowing that you can trust the divine and your angels and us as a whole. When I was first seeing ladybugs over and over again, I wasn't sure what it meant, but um, I did pray about it. And I know it sounds kind of weird. A lot of you who don't really believe in spirit totems and spirit animals and stuff, it is very weird. But I lie to you not, if you start looking up the animals and the, the signs that you're seeing, it will be right on point with your life. It'll match to your life in the, the message that you actually need. If you've been seeing numbers, repeating numbers over and over again, it actually helps you to decode spiritual signs and synchronicities when you look up those numbers. But ladybugs, let's get into ladybugs. Ladybugs are just fun to see. It is exciting to see a ladybug. We all want to count how old they are and then we count the little dots on their back and then we think we know how old they are. Who knows if that's actually true. But they're fun to see, they're exciting. And they're childlike. The first thing you want to do when you see a ladybug is to remember that you can have fun in the little things in life. Let yourself enjoy life. Let yourself be childlike. Let yourself have fun. The second thing I think that you should embrace when you see ladybugs is the boldness. When you see ladybugs, they stand out. I mean, everybody knows what a ladybug looks like. Just think about it. And that is how you should carry yourself. You should be your true self so that when people think about you, they know exactly the, the imprint, the order imprint that you're leaving behind and they almost still sense you when you're gone or when someone's talking about you they can smell that same signature perfume that you wear or they think of you and they see you in that bold outfit that you enjoy wearing you know so think about that you know think about who you are as a person how you can bring out those bold parts of you and put them into your daily life and how you can embrace it more the third thing that, you know, <laughs> ladybugs bring is happiness and true joy. I mean, when you see a ladybug, you can't help but smile. Some people don't really like ladybugs, but if you're seeing a ladybug, this is reminding you to be happy, to allow yourself to be happy. Like I said in the beginning, things don't have to be so serious. Things can be fun. Things can be joyful. Things can be childlike. Even when you're an adult, you can still do childlike things. Which kind of brings me to the innocence of a ladybug. Ladybugs literally bring you this innocence which reminds you once again to have fun, to just be you, not to have to pick out exactly who you should be every day, but just be who you are. There's an innocence in just being your authentic self. The ladybug also brings a message of transformation into your life. So if things have been difficult, tough cycles are definitely ending right now and you're finally going to be able to enjoy that peace at least for a certain amount of time. You'll be able to enjoy peace and comfort in who you are. My cat is over here eating, moving his bowl, so if that's what you hear, that is what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's some type of peace after transformations. It's like the the nitty gritty and then finally you just feel this sense of peace. I remember my first spiritual awakening. It was a lot. I had to go through a lot of trauma healing work and stuff and it was it was it was overwhelming because I was like I'm never gonna get through this. But then as I really started to face everything, I took it one day at a time, I took it one trauma at a time and it was it was a peaceful experience. The healing was it turned into a peaceful experience when I stopped stressing out about how much stuff I had to get over or get through and I just started focusing on one thing at a time. I started to heal a lot better and a lot more effectively. Like we were saying, transformations bring end of tough cycles or end of a tough cycle and that's that confirmation that you may have been looking for. So if you've been struggling with something lately, 
a trauma, financial issues and stuff, a ladybug is saying, no need to worry, have some fun because we're working behind the scenes and we're trying to make your dreams to become reality. The last thing that I kind of think of uh, goes hand in hand with the boldness is you know self-confidence having confidence in who you are as a person putting yourself out there putting yourself on the table and saying you know whoever's in my life you can either take me as I am or don't take me at all like <laughs> it's a choice there's no need for you to minimize yourself so that you can fit into uh, an area or in a group of people just know that your vibe attracts your tribe so the more that you fake this vibe the more you're attracting a fake tribe and you're not gonna fit in there it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable you're gonna feel root bound and like you're not growing as a person but the more you become your authentic self the more you put yourself out there as who you are in your boldness and the more you're confident about it the more you'll attract your authentic tribe and you'll attract more joy into your life because you can you, you feel free when you can be yourself you feel free so allow yourself to be free thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like share subscribe and comment down below and i will see you in another video see ya